first Frederick Bernard Ruhm was born in 1826 on September 17th in Germany. He was one of six, six children. Raymond's father taught him until he was about 10. In 1842, Raymond went to the Johann Gymnasium in Lundberg. This was a school, not a place he played sports. He was a good, but not great, student. Four years later, he enrolled at the University of Gossington and took mathematics from Mortez and Goss. He later studied under many famous people like Steiner, Jacobi, Per Schley, and Einstein. The culture of Germany had little effect on Raymond's work. However, he was very close to his family and would never change course without their consent. At the time, Germany didn't have very good teachers, so Raymond didn't get much of an education until he went to study under others. Continue, Lucy. Riemann came up with Riemann's thesis. Riemann's thesis studied the theory of complex variables and is what we call Riemann surfaces. He also introduced topological methods to the complex function theory. Riemann lived from 1826 to 1866. He died at a young age because of poor health. When he was around, there wasn't much technology. He basically had books, paper, and an ink pen. Riemann's thesis was an original work which examined geometric properties of analytic functions, conformal mappings, and the connectivity of surfaces. Riemann was an extremely important person to modern math and even science. <laughs>